Hi dearest, as requested by you, I'm going to be showing you how to make this lovely blue hat. Now here are the items you'll be needing and as usual, if you check the description box below, you will get to see where you can order them if you can't find them in your local store. I have Amazon and AliExpress links. Okay, so I have already molded the hat, you already know how to mold the hat and I molded it the back of the base, the back of the mold, that's what I used to get the flat base. Okay, and this is 13.5 inches diameter. So now the next thing we're going to do is to make our rim tough, and that is by putting our hat wire, which I have already wrapped with bias so that it doesn't rust and now show from the hat. The next thing to do is to use your uhu comb and we're going to close it all up. Now, if you don't know how to mold the base of a hat or the crown, I will drop the link in the description below as it has already been done before the next thing you want to do is cover up the ring you know the place where you clapped the hat wire in we're going to take bias and we're going to use our uhu gum and glue it all the way around remember our pegs helps us to glue faster so we don't have to start waiting for the glue to dry up although before you put it it should dry a bit don't just close it immediately so you don't have your stains in front of the hat now the next thing I did was to check the diameter and then get the midpoint of the of the hat brim okay so that's what I'm doing and I'm going to be marking it I already marked it before but I'm showing you why how I got the markings that you can see there the next thing I did was to measure the diameter also of the crown I've already molded the crown. You can equally check that in the description below for how to mold the crown. Then I'm going to use the measurement of the crown, the radius of it, that's half of it, to measure round my hat base like so. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is use your razor blade and cut a little point there that would allow you access with your scissors to cut out. A circle part from there so that you get to get your notching to be able to put your crown on top so that's what I'm doing if you have watched the um, hats that I made before you already know how to do all this I will drop the link as I said before in the description box below so you can go and check it and watch from the beginning to the end the only difference is that that one the um, brim wasn't flat the brim was an upturned brim, but the same process is used. Remember, if you want it flat, what you do is you turn the back of the mold and you mold your cinnamon on it. This is cinnamon that I made use of. So right now, what I'm doing is I'm notching. Now, this notching is what will give you the leverage to put your crown on top. Keep watching and learning. You can also join us in the Ventcraft Academy Fascinator Class 3 for more manipulation of your sin. Now, if you stay on this video, you would get to the point where you get to see an offer I have for this class. So keep on watching. Okay, so the next thing I did was to cut off the excess of the um, notching. Remember, in the last video, I explained that um, you make sure that your notching that stands up is not longer than your Peter Sham. If not, it might be visible. So now I've placed the hat, the crown rather, on top of the base and I see that there's um, still a little bit of space. So I'm going to be using the crown. You know, it's widened up a bit. So I'm going to be using the crown itself to give me the measurement of the excess that I need. And that's what I'm doing. So just in case you happen to have this issue, what you do is you measure your crown and use that to get the excess that you need to mark off so now I'm going to be notching it further to so that it will be able to sit firmly and glue to the crown of the base yeah we're getting there <laughs> all right then so we're following the same process of course taking off the excess again the next thing is to use your uhu gum on the front part not the back because the crown is going to sit like that so you need it gluing to the crown so that's what I'm doing and I'm still cutting out excess because it's still much. Okay, keep watching a minute. Oh yeah, that's true. If you want to join the Vencraft Academy, the link is in the description also below. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is to place our crown on top 
of the base so that's what I'm preparing to do now so boom like that okay then I'm going to use the crown the crown mold to fix it properly to get it to stick properly and use my hand like that adjusting it all round the next thing you want to do is take your needle and thread to sew it firmly so it's not only the glue you're using to hold it as I told you glue after some years will then get weak so what you do is you make use of your needle and thread and you sew it all the way around remember as you take it from the front side you take your thread close to it I was dancing time you had music on <laughs> and I couldn't help but dance <laughs> Oh, did I say it was at the end? No, it's kind of in the middle. So, yes, you don't want to miss this offer that we have, which is running from now till 8th of April 2023. Other one class of Fascinator and you get another one for half the price. Now, we have four Fascinator classes available. You want to check them out. We have Queen Online Masters class. Now, this is the bomb. Then followed by Fascinator class 2. Then we have Fascinator Class 1. It's all going randomly. <laughs> then we have Fascinator Class 3, the class I spoke to you about. So you want to join us in the Vent Craft Academy for that. So let's get back to today's tutorial. Now, okay, I'm still sewing it and I've finished sewing. The next thing you want to do is use your Peter Sham and cover up that part. So that's how we usually join the crown to the base of our hat so i'm going to be doing it all the way around the next thing i did was to make a bias a cinnamon bias and i'm going to use it also and wrap around the hat then the next thing you want to do also of course you've got to cover the inside where you sewed and you're going to use peter sham also and i'm making use of ubu gum to do that all the way around as well Okay, now we move on to the decor so now I'm opening up my feathers that I have this is um, a two inches feather and I'm putting it the feathers are held with ropes they are sewn with ropes so you want to open it up to get that rope and that's where you put your uhu gum sometimes you may not be able to get the rope exact to put it and I'm going to be gluing the feathers like 180 degrees round the hat it's not 360 just half of the circle then the next thing you want to do is take another layer again and put on top so that's what i'm going to do i'll do it all the way around the third layer now that we're fixing and taking around from the front part you take it actually closer down so it's like you're tapering from down and going bigger up now I'm adding the last layer to it underneath to make it fuller. I hope you counted how many layers they are because there's a question coming up. The next thing I did was to, you know, use my hand and bring it out, you know, so that it's fluffy. And any space, I got out the small ones, peel them out, and I'm going to be pushing this in to cover up the space to make it full. The next thing I did was to take my rose flower. I cut it off the stock because I just need one piece. And I used Uhu gum to ensure that the petals don't start falling off from each other since I've already cut that part. I pushed in the rod that is there and I'm going to be sewing it to the hat just at the point where I started bringing out all the feathers. Or rather where I started sticking out all the feathers. Remember when you're sewing from the inside, you take your thread very close to where you just put it out so it's not visible. In the front part, you can take it wired. What you do is to ensure that the petals are hiding it. Okay, keep watching and learn. The next thing I did was to pluck out the leaves from the flower and I'm going to stick it all around there using my Uhu gum to form another design. Keep watching and learn. Remember, there's a question coming at the end. You don't want to miss it, so you get to win to attend one of our classes for free as usual yeah that is our wednesday treats always for you every week and that's how we form this lovely blue hat don't you just love it do let me know in the comment section below now who won our last game challenge it is ugochi congratulations and you have won to attend this bridal hand fan for free to contact us in the link below now how many layers of feathers did we use for this hat 
We're going to be choosing one winner and you're going to be attending Miss Class 1 for free. Congratulations. Check out this next video on how to make another type of heart.